Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Karen. Hi, Christine. Hello, Louise. Hello, Sue. Hello, Rosemary. Hello, Anne. Hello, Kerry and Flo. Hello, Rob. Hello, Christine. Hello, Anne. I will be on uh, Discord shortly. Hello, Liz. Hello, Sue. Hello, Chris. Good morning, Kathy. Oh, you've got a zoomy thing. Hello, Anne. Um, a zoomy thing to get on with. That's exciting. Is it exciting? Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure you'll make it exciting. How are things in Canada this morning, Can uh, Kathy? Well, it's two o'clock. Oh, I need to get onto Discord, don't I? And I am on Discord. Hello, two people in my ears. Hello. Right, okay. Oh, good. I'm glad the sun's shining for you in Canada. Hello, Sandra. Welcome. Oh, were you doing the talk, Liz? Or are they Zooming you? Hopefully, I'll, if, if they're Zooming you, hopefully I'll have given you... Um, the right sort of information and I haven't lied to you and I did my lecture on the on the pre wraps Oh, well, enjoy it, Liz. I was at, I, I did a Zoom thing yesterday. Um, hello, Robert. Um, what was it? It was, it was for a podcast for a shopping thing. Hello, Anne. Oh, I'm really chilly this afternoon. Are you all chilly or is it just me? I've, um, I've been sitting at the laptop inputting stuff again, so I'm not... Uh, I've not been agile enough. I might have to jump on the rowing machine or something later to, to warm up my cockles a little bit. I've got a hot coffee that I've just uh, poured, so hopefully that will help. Well, I hope you're... Hello, Janet. I hope you're... Um... Oh, Liz, you can definitely come again. That was so lovely. Um, flatterer, you flatterer. Um, I hope you're all well on this overcast Wednesday afternoon here in... Uh, in North Oxfordshire. 
nice to have so many of you with us. There's 19 of you. Um, uh, a little, um, a little update. Absolutely, gold star is. Um, a little update for you. Our shop appy site is now open and live with most of the things now um, that were coming soon now not coming soon. So you can make orders. Um, obviously, we're adding things. Um, we have so much stuff in that shop, and because I'm not there, I can't actually tell what we've got and what we haven't got. So I'm only able to put on what deliveries that I know I've had in my hand um, this week. And uh, so stuff will be added all the time over the next couple of weeks. Um, whether we will be opening our doors on the 1st of June in some form is uh, is yet to be seen. Um, but as you know, because I'm such a paranoid uh, Peter, um, I will... Uh, I will be making sure that if we are open, when we are allowed to open, that uh, everything, all criteria will be, will be met so everybody um, will be safe. But we will probably insist on masks just um, just for extra precaution. Uh, but however, you can still shop with Shop Appy and get your items delivered. Um, and don't forget, it's a flat £3 delivery for anybody living in the six mile radius of Banbury which is good but we are getting deliveries from all over the UK as well so uh, perfect even better and whilst you're on shop happy you can shop with all the other shops that are in Banbury that are on there like Sheila's Sweets and um, I don't think Steve Betts got anything but the, the natural health store the nothing but footprint stores got a few things on there the fruit and veg man from the market has got his um page on shop happy so you can buy a leek and uh, uh, you know loads of fruit loose fruit and veg and that will be delivered within a 6 mile radius of Banbury as well so um yeah there's quite a few exciting things happen there's lots of shops adapt and change um to the new normal that is uh, that is currently our way of life. Yes. 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 Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I'll quickly change that now while uh, whilst we're all logging in and settling down. For three ninety five. Oh well, no, for you. But that would actually mean that I'm losing loads of money. That shouldn't so I've got oh, that shouldn't happen like that. That shouldn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Right, so I'm going to have to, right, gosh, I'd be losing money left, right and centre. Yeah. No, hang on. I think, Oh, that's going to be a bit frustrating because I've got all my paints the same, it's set up in the same way. Um, I think, I think whenever there is a multiple choice, I have to, I have to have the, I, I have to have the vendor price on my thing as zero and then each price on the multiple choice one. So, you know, yesterday when you said they all had extra 395, I think I needed to keep those 395s and um and change the coloration you know change the main price to zero so i've just done that so hopefully yeah please please if you are shopping on shop shop happy and you notice something that doesn't look quite right can you let me know because obviously i'm trying to do this i've spent about 48 hours now in total this week inputting prices and paints and all of these kind of things um and I have no idea how to do it, if I'm honest. I'm, you know I'm not very technical and I can just about manage to survive. Um, however, I, I don't think... Um, 
See, I should be able to check because it's all the checkbox. But, um, mm, thank you. Because otherwise I'm going to have to do all of the others, which will be a little bit annoying. Hello, Sue. Right, so we've got our little, um, our little old water pump today. It's a thing, isn't it, Rosemary? Mm -hmm. We're doing sheep next week. Sheep in a gateway next week. Not the supermarket, obviously. Um, is it gate, does gateway exist anymore? I don't think it does, does it? Hello, Bella. Welcome. Right. I'll just wait for all to settle down. As you know, we always have about 10 minutes. Oh, I, I have also... Um, obviously, I'm, I, I was saying to the, the students at last night's class how I'm having to move plans forward for if we reopen the classroom for those who feel safe to come out again when we reopen. Um, so when offices reopen, uh, our classroom is sort of more of an office-based thing. I've ordered some, they're called sneeze screens. Um, and uh, they are... Uh, they are like 60 centimetres high clear perspex. Because you're all facing forward, um, it'll be all uh, the screens will be to the right of you, so um, you don't get any uh, potential infection from the person sitting next to you. Um, you can't get anything from the person sitting in front of you because they're not facing you. However, I have had to make sure that where I sit will get um, heavily protected because you're all facing me, and if any of you are asymptomatic when you come back, then I have to make sure that two and a half hours sitting facing your breath um, will uh, will protect me a little bit. Got to do what you got to do, haven't you? But it's cost me a lot, so um, don't break them, please. No, Rosemary can't sneeze. Well, I, I've, I'll be I'll be almost encased in perspex, so don't don't worry about me. I'm fine. Oh, okay. So I've just got to keep you in tea. Is that how it works? <laughs> I knew you'd have to get in your tea in somewhere. All right. That's fine. Oh, okay. All right. So we're going to we're going to have it portrait obviously. And it's, as always, it's how, how we plan it, how we attack it, and how we uh, set it to make it work. The background, obviously, it does set the scene. Do we need it? Possibly not. Oh, I'll show you what we did last night. Um, some of you, uh, those of you that attend, or have attended the watercolour classes over the last year, will be familiar with... Oh, hang on. I found I missed a page and I'm filling it in. Um, do you remember doing that in watercolours? You'll see it in about 20 seconds because there's a delay. You might remember doing that in watercolours. It's on your screen now. Yeah. So we've done it We've done it in pencil last night just to see how it would look. And we're doing it in acrylics next week. Um, but it was quite interesting to do. Really quite interesting to, to work out the layering and much putty eraser use. Um, and we have got putty rubbers available on Shop Appy. Um, so it's all there. It's all there, but whether you can actually order it or not, or whether the prices are right, that's a, that's a different story altogether. Because I'm sort of like bumbling my way through at the moment, and, and good old Nick and Kevin and Jackie have been um, looking on it and checking it in for me and seeing how practical some of the things are or if they work or not, ready for when we do class bookings on there as well for actual classes. So I want my um, my water pump to be about the width of my finger, my index finger. 
So it's slightly off center. I'm just indicating by drawing my finger. Oh, that's just to give me a rough idea. I've, my, my, I've got a lean. Let me uh, let me straighten that up. So I'm running my little finger down the edge of my part. Do you know what? I think I'll need to bring it in a fraction. And it depends how big I'm doing it, though, doesn't it? Because in on my half size picture, it's the width of my pencil on on the screen. So it needs to be either either the width of your pencil and then some, or double the width because it's double the size. You might do use your little finger if you've got a fat finger. I can't possibly comment on on things like that. Oh, you see, you see, Liz. Some people thought that um, the people on on Discord having a conversation was quite distracting, um, so I could put them back so they can hear. I could, all I have to do is unplug um, unplug the the, the speaker. Um, let me. No, you can't swear then, because I know what you are like, potty mouth. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm gone. Do not, do not swear. Like, like, um, on, um, Big Brother. Right, I'm unplugging you. Okay, Discord, oh, you, you're free to roam. Okay, there you go. There you go, no swearing now, because everybody's here and we've got people of all ages in the group. Um... What's echoing? You, because you'll be able to hear yourself. I can. I'll turn you down a fraction. No, I'm not echoing. It's your voice is sort of like a, as if you're talking in a echo chamber. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I haven't moved. I'm still in my normal spot. I'm. Uh, I'm still here. It's lovely to have twenty odd you, twenty odd of you here with me today, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, that's better. Okay, so um, I haven't put any charcoal on yet, Sue, uh, but I will put some on for definite. Now, I'm going to have it so it's the length of, from the top of my little finger right down to my palm, roughly. Very roughly, but obviously it all depends on how big your hands are, doesn't it? Really, because you need to leave enough room for the for the pump handle and some of the base. I may not put all of the base on. Oh, sorry, Sue. You all cheating on me with the BBC. Life drawing, is it? I haven't I haven't seen anything. We did, um, I inflicted life drawing with Great Borton Art Group once. Do you remember, Anne and Chris, we did the baller and Sue, we did the ballerinas, but we did it through moving. Yeah. And we ended up having to pause it because it was just too hard. No, I don't do life drawing classes. You're correct, Liz. Um, the reason why we don't do life drawing is because our room isn't really big enough to fit students and a life drawing model in. Um, 
Plus, life drawing models are extremely expensive, so we'd have to put the prices up for life drawing. And because um, I'm certainly not going to be the model, I'm afraid. Not in this weather. Got to be joking. It would, because there's no space at all. So you'd literally be a foot away from them. Um, I mean, you, you could do clothed models and stuff, I suppose. Um, but because uh, uh, I know at Great Borton we've had uh, we've had Jackie that's been been a clothed a clothed model, and she can stand still for in an order inordinate amount of time. I cannot stand still or sit still. I am a massive fidgeter, um, so I'm a rubbish model for that sort of thing. Okay, so we've got our rough. It's probably probably the length of a pencil ish thinking about it but using your hand as a measurement you know I enjoy um, doing that kind of thing because we've all got one attached yes or what well, I can't think of anything household loo roll there's probably loads of those knocking about the height of a loo roll the width of your finger Okay, so as always, we start with the planning and then we um, we can start for new. Now, the pump handle is actually, the, the oh, look at that, is actually the same length as the pump. Um, so, but moved up slightly. If you move it up about, oh, I don't know, three fingers up from the base, for the bottom and then the top is around there. So if I draw a little ball there and a little ball there. Yeah, do you know what, Sue? As I was saying, it's a pencil width. It's the pencil width that I've got in my hand, but I'm extremely aware that I use that one a lot. So this is the 2H that I never use. But yeah, I have also <laughs> got pencils of different sizes. So yeah, it's a bit like how long's a piece of string, isn't it? I do apologize. Um, and then it's sort of, yeah, I know. And um, the Karen Dash ones, we have to get from a totally different supplier. So I've got to um, see if they're available. Oh, we've got paper stumps on order, Nick. Torting long. So they'll be in soon. And battery erasers should be available within the week as well, Sue. I've got them here, but I haven't got them at the shop. Um, well, have I got them at the shop? No, I've got them here. I was just looking at them in the box. I think I need to bring that out more, actually. I ought to put the song, the bird song on as well. I haven't got that on. I'm so slack today. I do apologise. I haven't frozen. laptop in front of me so I can actually read what you're saying now so I don't get any crick in my neck so that's good so say the interesting things for you now I can read it say something interesting oh it was funny in last night's class Nick brought up that do you remember doing the dolphin um painting Anne and Chris in the Great Borton Sue um and Anne um at the Great Borton group a couple of weeks ago he mentioned it and I'd spent ages trying to find it. Then during coffee break, I was hunting it down. Um, and I turned the whole of my dining room upside down. Because obviously, I'm not painting in lots of locations. So all of my paintings are in a pile and it wasn't there. I was hunting and hunting. Turns out, I did it the day before lockdown. So it's not even here, it's at the shop. I just spent hours looking for it. 
um, I was I was getting really flustered, panicking where I've moved it to and what I've done. Um, I'll never I would never have found it because it uh, it was just never going to be here. So it's funny. Because you know what it's like when you've got something in your mind and you just, it, it, it starts to niggle you, doesn't it? And you really want to make sure you've got it and you can't find it. I'm the sort of person that would get up at two o'clock in the morning and rifle through. Um... Yeah, my brother Liz actually found, um, found a replacement shade on eBay, but I think it was slightly different. So um, I ended up ordering two and I have two shades. So I'll, I'll, I'll have a spare one then. Which is good. I mean, I know it's not, it's not the end of the world, but um, it's an art, it's art deco, um, an art deco oil lamp. So I would like to, and a pair. So I would like to um, keep them because they are working. Oh yes, so yes, thank you. Silly me, tripping up my own foot. All right, so we've got the top there. And then it sort of slopes a little bit there. Because this bit is bigger. Now I, I'm, I'm going to cheat with the perspective a little bit with this. Because it will help. Hopefully. I know I do, Sue. It's uh, it's terrible. I have to keep my mouse down here because I keep on having things pop up on my screen. Um, if you've not been on Banbury Artist of the Year's Facebook page yet, please go and have a look after the class. Um, really high standard of uh, entries this year. And um, yeah, so you vote for your favourite one in each category just by liking the picture. And uh, there's a few of our students that have got... Uh, works in the competition but um the kids the kids entries are absolutely phenomenal they really are um so yeah do do take a look when you are able i think that's a, a decent enough shape So if any of you that have um, seen the seen the competition, let me know what you think. Okay, so then we, we we're still in the planning stage. Don't fall. Still in the planning stage. So I don't know about a thumb width down from the top. Then I'm going. Oh, I haven't had any dinner. I've just realised. Oh. I thought I was hungry. And a little line like that. I'm curving up slightly. It's not like that in the picture, but I'll explain why I'm doing that. So if you, if you hear my tummy rumbling, I apologise. See, part of me is excited about coming back, but part of me is very apprehensive about going back. If we end up going back, I mean, who knows what will happen. But I'm just thankful that I'm spending all of these times now with uh, updating the online shop and finally dragging me into the 21st century of um, of this kind of thing. Uh, I've I've struggled with the the notion of online shopping, but I, I have to say, Shop Happy. They're a small company, uh, really, really friendly. I, I, I was, I was zooming one of the the, the main organisers yesterday. He was really lovely, and um, 
the whole the whole basis of shop Appy is to shop locally um in your own town and support your own independent businesses um so if you can't get into town you can still support them by shopping online um which is why it's in different towns we we found out that um, it only takes uk addresses at the moment because um it is only meant for small uh small towns um, not for global establishments like we're fast becoming, um, but uh, it's uh, it's 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 a lovely it's a lovely uh, site. It's quite easy to navigate. I managed to pick up some sweets from Sheila's Sweets the other day and got those delivered to me, uh, which is good. I had some Dolly mixtures and some rum balls and some cho um, Scottish tablet, but sadly now I've got them, they're going very quickly. Because that's the thing, isn't it? It's like when you open a packet of biscuits, you can never, you can never just have one biscuit, or I certainly can't. Okay, so if we go, um, what sweets are essential, Sue? Absolutely. But it's really good because obviously all of the shops that are on there aren't actually physically open because they're non-essential, but they can trade online, um, which is great. But my teeth are still a bit funny, so I can't really have anything hard. So I had to go for all the soft, the soft options at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to go with two fingers down for the next band. Two fingers for the next one. No, hang on a minute. So is that about right there? There. And another two. Oh, look at that. I've drawn that just right. Gosh. Wow, I'm amazing, aren't I? Yes, dear. Thank you, Rosemary. You can come again. So while whilst I've got it at this sort of juncture, I'll, I'll talk about because this is cylindrical, isn't it? I, well, I think modesty is actually my best co my, my best quality, Liz and Sue. Um, absolutely, Rosemary. So the reason why I'm forcing the perspective a little bit is because I want to emphasise that this is cylindrical. And a lot of times people struggle with, with something that's cylindrical and in sections. So this will apply to pillars on a building or anything that is cylindrical in sections. So our eye level line is roughly this one. So our eye level line section is going to be horizontal. Anything above that line in sections is going to curve slightly upwards an increase in the curve as it goes up. Anything below this line is going to curve slightly downwards and increase in the curvature the further down we go. So that is a, a huge learning point um, for today. So if you learn nothing else, just remember that. Did a Moira Stewart then? Here in the bong. We did, Sue. We did this with lighthouses. So, did you remember? <laughs> or is it all coming back to you? But exactly right, lighthouses, I'd forgotten about lighthouses, but you're right. Anything cylindrical and in sections will follow the same principle. So your eye level line is horizontal and straight. Anything above 
each section above your higher eye level line will curve increasingly going up and anything below your eye level line will curve downwards and uh, get more severe the lower down it goes. Well, there's honest. Uh, you could have said yes, I wouldn't have known. So we, we're sort of forcing the perspective and it instantly makes it feel more cylindrical, doesn't it? So it's a, it's a useful tool. I've, I've got Celine Dion in my head now, you know. You can see me like this. Da, 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 da. Was that long ago, but it's all coming back to me. You can see why I don't do Celine Dion in my sets. <laughs> okay. So, around about my thumb width in that second section down, we've got that sort of circular bulge. More of an oval, maybe. There were moments of gold and there were flashes of light. There were things I'd never do again, but then they always seem right. It's enough of Celine. So, Jackie, if you're watching, I apologise for ruining Celine Dion because I know she's your idol. Okay. How's it looking at the moment? Weird or is it kind of starting to look yours? I mean, not mine. Please don't comment on mine. I'm very delicate. I don't think I could take the criticism. Oh, wow. Red kite outside hovering over the trees. Beautiful. That's amazing. All right. We're going to sort of move to get the... Um, what would you call that? The pipe? The What's the this called? This bit here? That the water's coming out of. Spout. Is it a spout on a pump? I suppose it will be. So we're going to sort of get a bit narrower. It gets slightly narrower. Further out it goes. Then curves over and down a little. Thank you, Sue. Nozzle. It is a bit of a nozzle, isn't it? The spouts turn upwards and nozzles go down. Here, you know, all of the life's questions are asked in these classes, aren't they? All the they call they call them shower thoughts, don't they? All the weird and unusual things that pop into your brain, usually when you're in the shower. Like why are buildings called buildings when they're already built? Surely they should be called bilts. It's true though, isn't it? Because building is a is a yeah. Well, you see, now it will. <laughs> so we're building it up nice and slowly but now you see once we've got this on we've got more reference points so we know how big the bucket's going to end up being because we can gauge it from the sections of the the uh, in the column of the of the pump um no i know sue but you will now won't you you will think about it now and anytime anybody says the word building you'll think now should it be a building Do you know, I was just looking at mine and thinking that, but it is though, isn't it? When you look at it on the picture, it, it's much, much smaller. It's at least half the width of the actual um, spout itself. 
Yeah. So there's a bit of perspective in there. We did a a water pump in um, in a watercolor class a long time ago, and it was the the pump that's uh, it was on the it's on the A three six one in Wardington as you travel through. It's really hard to spot as you're driving, um, but there is an old water pump as you um, head towards Daventry on the left hand side as you go through the the village um, in amongst all the bracken where it's quite high land. Um, a lovely old water pump there. Is it right? Where whereabouts is it in in your village? It's uh, well, it used to be on the village street, but but it's now it was moved. It doesn't actually work anymore. But it's um, uh, just by the entrance to Church Lane. Oh, okay. Which do you can you in your tent? And well, no, I can't go up yet. And it's was very nicely painted actually. It's sort of painted in black and red. Oh, lovely. The one in Wardington is just all rusty. Because it's where there's a nat it's still there because there's a natural uh, spring underneath. And um, so where, where you're dri when you drive through Wardington on the main road, there's always, um, after a bit of rain, flowing water um, along a certain stretch before you get to my street. And that's, that's from the natural spring. We've got a lot of natural springs in, in the village that pop up. Ah. Uh, Apparently there used to be a well where my car park, uh, where, where I park my car by my house. Um, it's hopefully filled in and not just boarded over. Okay, so let's think about this bucket now. Because again, we sketch it all out, don't we? We plan it all, then we go for it in terms of tones. I'm still using my HB slash 2B pencil. So, it's level almost with the horizon line or the eye level line of this section so i'm not going to curve that one much and it's going to look massive because it comes out probably another thumb width no that can't be right that's too big that's way too big let me chop a bit off there gosh and then it comes down just before that bottom notch and that will curve downwards there's a hole in my bucket and then it comes here yeah, it comes right to the edge there so let's let's sketch that in and it's got a slightly outer bottom I think what these classes do is they certainly um, make you look more, don't they? It does, doesn't it? It looks really weird. But um, it, it is what it is. It is exactly like that because we're using the measurements and the measurements are right. So it's... Um, What's a ruler? Just, just curve slightly more than four inches, four centimetres. Just one of those four inches, four centimetres. What, your drawing of it? Yeah, and the, the thumb itself, the body, is, is um, an inch. You see, mine, mine's six centimetres, my bucket, yeah. and 15 centimetres from my pump. I got this out while I was making my mask out of a pair of trouser legs. Right. I'm nothing but inventive. Now you see the handle is actually going to be the trickiest bit, believe it or not. I'm sure you'll start, I've just seen your comment Liz about your scarecrow. I'm sure it does not look like a scarecrow with one arm. Unless you're sort of going to put two eyes and a smiley face like that on it. Um, 
Gummy looks cute now. What a friendly water bump I've got. Um, the handle of the bucket has got to sit on the spout nozzle thing, hasn't it? Because it's it's got to take the weight of the bucket. So you've got to make sure that the curvature would actually work. And I mine won't because it looks like it's been bent. Hang on. Something like that. We have two police cars with the sirens on this um, this afternoon, speeding past just before the class started. I wonder where they were off to, heading towards Banbury, isn't they? Now you see that's got to come up higher that bit. See, I think the handle is the trickiest part in this picture. I really do. Because it's 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 got to sit on the the spout, hasn't it? It's got to sit on it. It's got to it's got to be in keeping with the the um, the width of the bucket to a degree, and. Um, and it's got to go in the right place so it doesn't look like it's been bent. I think I'm just going to rub out a lot of the other confusing lines that I know um, I'm not going to need. So where the bucket is, that can where the bucket overlaps the. It does because you've got you've got two you've got a little sort of circle. Then the bucket handle also forms its own circles and loops through that. So um, it is tricky. Now to me, on the photograph, if I zoom in, that bucket is, oh, okay, that's clever. I've just spotted something on the, on the nozzle. There's a little lip look. Yeah, because I was, I, I, was, I was just going to say until I saw that, I've got my glasses on as well. That does that look that bucket's look like it's, it's once it's got a bit of water, it'll fall off. But it won't fall off because there's an as a an inbuilt little thing. A flange. A flange. I love our language, it's just so full of Weird words, isn't it? Flange. Flange. Blamange. I'm gonna have to rub out my smiley face on my um. On my uh, pump soon. Oh, I've been playing with my putty rubber and my hand's all sticky now. Oh dear me. Yeah, so it's a lovely pump actually. It is a nice shaped pump. It's um, it's going to be nice when we start adding more depth onto it. But it's I th I think it's really useful to um build it up slowly I've not been out in the garden today but it's too chilly to do that kind of malarkey Oh, uh, well, that's good. Uh, 
and then I'll start thinking about the base a little bit and then we can start adding more um, shading and thought about it. We had some nice classes this week. What day is it today? Wednesday. I've already taught three classes. I've just shown you the one. I'll show you the other two. A bit floral, the other two. It was um, irises on Monday morning in acrylics, which was lovely. I've seen... I, I loved your water droplets, Anne. They were lovely. And then we did poppies on Monday night, and this uh, this is also tomorrow afternoon's lesson as well. The poppies. A bit of gel pen helped. But I think... Rosemary and uh, Nick, we, it was just cadmium red, lemon yellow, ultramarine and Payne's grey, wasn't it? That was that was it. Um, For Monday night, I think. Lemon yellow, cad yellow, cadmium and ultramarine, Payne's grey. Okay. I didn't use cadmium yellow, did I? Oh, the boat class, Sue. Yeah, that was lovely, that was. Um, some lovely results people are sharing from the, the free lesson on Saturday. Um, I don't know when I'll be doing another one. It'll probably be in June sometime. And then um, I have got others inbuilt um, into the next programme, which are uh, publicly available to see what classes there are. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, it's all go. I haven't actually stopped since lockdown. It's um, it's it's good. It's kept me busy teaching all of these classes. And meeting lots of new people from all over the world, which is nice. Okay. So, as we start to look at the base, it's sitting on a on a sort of concrete base that's slightly wider and it's going to curve a little bit more and then that itself flicks out a little bit wider you can just about make out the indentation of it and then it comes out even wider still a bit like a trilby hat down even more actually -da 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 -da. oh have you I bet she loves Bob Ross does she everybody loves Bob Ross he was on this morning I think With his happy little trees and his happy little friends. Oh shoot, let's just stick another tree here. Gotta have a friend. <sighs> what with Bob? Yeah, so be their little friends. And then you want to blend it in with two hairs and some air. And then clean your brush and beat the de beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it. He does it. He always does it in the same tune. Da 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 All the time. He does make it look easy. However, I have to say, Sue, when I used to teach the style of Bob Ross, it is a lot easier. It's it's very easy in oils um, to get the reflection and and. Um, I have to say, when he puts the, the he uses his uh, his painting knife to do the texture of the mountains. That is much harder than it looks in um, in real life when you try it. Um, well, <coughs> it is. There's a slight digression. If you've got the surf, you see the knife doesn't ever touch the surface. Um, it it's sort of you have a bead of paint and it's there to guide the paint rather than to use 
as a knife so it's just a tool to guide the paint so it shouldn't really touch the surface yeah i mean he has um i've forgotten the name of his pet squirrel he's got he's got lots of little pets that he's uh, rescued and helped or had lots of little pets oh the name of his squirrel's gonna frustrate me now can't think I cannot think. Sweet pea, is it sweet pea? Yeah, I'm gonna have to Google it, hang on. Name of Bob Ross's squirrel. Peapod. 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 There was also Peapod Junior, Hoot the Owl, Two Little Robins. These hungry little rascals. Chimney Swifts. Um, a fox squirrel called Little Bit. A great horned owl. A sandhill crane. A deer. And a baby raccoon. So there you go. Little peepard. We do, don't we, Sue? But it's all part of the journey going off on a bit of a tangent. OK, now we need to think about this, this wider concrete base and look at where it comes in relation to... Um, it's almost equidistant from... I think it's going to be another thumb width from the edge of the handle and the edge of the spout. And it comes at the back, curves around. It's probably going to go off my page slightly and comes around. I mean, as long as you don't show them the photograph, who's going to know, really? And then we've got the edge. And then that comes down. So very roughly, Peapod the Pocket Squirrel. Something like that, anyway. Because that's the bottom of my pad, right at the bottom of the screen. So um, I've kind of uh, not left the same amount of space. But it doesn't matter because it's the water pump that I want as the, the main thing. So how's it coming along? It's nearly time for a cup of tea, everybody. The highlight of your lesson, usually. You need to train him better, Rosemary. He needs to hover around about three o'clock. Poised, ready to put the kettle on for you. Because a drink and a biscuit is, is, the, is a crucial tool for the artist, really. I ought to do a podcast about that. Wow. 
<laughs> Wurzel, Wurzel, the water pump. <laughs> okay, Liz. Wonderful. Do you want me to send you a picture of, of an edited version like I did of your uh, your Churchill chicken? <laughs> Just sort of tweaking it a little. It does. It does indeed. I'm just sort of darkening my lines that I want to keep. I'm, I'm amazed that that bucket, when I was drawing it, I thought it was huge. But it, it actually looks in proportion now with, with everything that's going on within the scene. So that's why it's always good to have one object drawn out, which you can then use roughly drawn out, which you can then use to have relationships and measure where everything else comes from it. Um, and move around. So even when you're doing a painting, and, and I think that's why these... Um, drawing classes go so are, are so useful is that that you can start to apply it in your painting um for when you're sketching out as uh, have any of you found those of you go that do any other form of of painting and, and uh, art form that these drawing classes are helping you with your observations and and your planning out and your composition and knowing where to start good See, faces are hard. Yes, that's why um, you're, you're exactly correct with that, Louis, um, with, uh, who are you, Rosemary? Um, because <laughs> because um, the, um, if you look at all portraits or the majority of portraits throughout history, they're all quarter turn so uh because you can see the shape of the nose better full face same with pet portraits and anything like that full on face uh frontal face is really hard to get depth unless you've got really strong lighting um that casts shadows on the face so quarter turn portraits are far um better in terms of getting a likeness because you can get the shape of the nose is it got you know is there a slight bump on the top is it like my nose that that's not quite finished at the end um or um you know that kind of thing uh but it is a bit trickier to work out the proportions however tomorrow morning i am doing uh for art for the anxious a portrait in charcoal so if you fancy joining me at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for a fiver, my duck, for a fiver, you can do a portrait session. Um, and we'll be doing it in charcoal. You can do it in graphite, though. It doesn't matter. It's much easier. But I'll be talking all about the proportions of faces. 10, 10 till 12-ish. Or whenever I've had enough, really. About half past 10. So um, if you're not a member of the Art for the Anxious, do request to join and I'll, um, I'll shove you in. Yeah, shove, shove me in here. I will. Right, so 10 o'clock, Charcoal. Yeah. Um, I'll be doing a portrait session for Art for the Anxious. I mean, Charcoal's just a little bit darker, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go and put the kettle on and then we can start planning the tonal value of, of this picture to work out which is the darkest, which is the lightest and... That kind of thing. So um, pop the kettle on, grab a biscuit. I'm on biscuit rations because don't forget my biscuits were um, missing off my delivery. Very sad times. It's like one biscuit every three days. <gasps> I'll, I'll be okay, don't worry.
just read your reminder list. Okay, while the kettle's boiling. I won't forget. Kettle is boiling. It's taking a while because I want to make a pot of tea. But you've got your coffee right next to you. You've got a coffee machine, haven't you, Nick? Uh, yeah. yeah. Fancy pants. Oh, good. I'm just reading your... Um, yes, tall grass is the answer, Sue. Absolutely. Hello. Where's your dog, Steve? <laughs> not here. Not here for definite. I know it's not here. No, no, it's not good for me. I know. I've just had to run in from the kitchen to listen. So while we're um, while I'm waiting for my my tea to brew in the pot, um, as you half look, if you sort of squint and look beyond the actual photograph, um, the um, which bit's lightest and which bit's darkest? So as I'm looking beyond it, I find that the bucket is the lightest in the whole scene, including the background. The bucket is actually the lighter tone, isn't it? Do you think? Whereas the, the, the concrete base and the grass is very similar in tone. Um, but the pump is, I think we need to make the pump the darkest. Um, for it to stand out more and feel more solid, otherwise it'll, um, otherwise it'll fade away.
Right, I am replenished with my tea. And we can think about that. Um, did you not wear a uniform because of too many visits? Very funny. Um, no, actually, my, my the uniform is, is one of the comfiest ones in. I, I decided against wearing a uniform for VE Day because, um, obviously, I've not, I've not, I, I never served. And um, for such a, a, a proper occasion, I didn't want to play a role. I wanted to, to give it more of a respectful um, feel rather than a... Um, uh, a play day kind of thing but actually that's is far more comfier than what i wore that my, my suit um was a little bit snug um on ve day um so uh i'm gonna have to do something I'm gonna have to do something soon okay so we're gonna we're gonna think about how we're gonna play this because i don't I don't necessarily want all of the trees and the grass and, and you know, the, the scene to be that visible. Um, so I might be using my paper stump on my fingers to um, to do a bit of blending and, and softening. Um, so if I use my, I, I'll still stick with this HB pencil and I want to go and I'm just going to shade around pencils on its side. I'm going to press down a little bit harder around where the, uh, ne nearer to the bucket or bouquet. Um, because we've said, haven't we, we've just said while I was brewing my tea that the bucket is lighter than the background. If you notice the way I'm shading, I'm doing it, I've got the pencil more on its edge, but also I do it in sort of, swirls or a circular motion which in theory hides the lines whereas if I was going up and down but holding the pencil on its side um, also helps without having dark hard heavy lines so once I've gone quite heavy around the bucket I'm going to take the pressure off a little bit and swirl around. Well, I'm not swirling around. The pencil's going to swirl around. I could do with swirling around. Sadly, Liz, I don't have enough biscuits to put on weight at the moment. Did I mention I'm, there's a biscuit shortage? It's, uh, it's one thing I didn't factor in for a seven-week lockdown. I thought I was made for life with my broken biscuit box never thought for one minute it would be out of stock. How can you be out of stock of broken biscuits? Well. Oh, I don't like Marmite, so I won't be having Marmite crisps. Well, you see, I'm I'm putting it in because it will help me. Oh, do you know what I've missed off? I've missed off the 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 actual pump of the the rod. Yeah. None of you told me, did you? Hey. Just kept waiting for you to finish it. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit lighter there and here. Oh, I've changed the angle of my pencil now. Doesn't feel the same. There we go, that's better. Getting a little bit lighter as I move out. We're going to create a little bit of a vignette or a vinaigrette. You can sing yourself a happy little tune as you swirl your pencil on the paper. Liz, you'll know this. You know, I'll whistle a happy tune and that one. What song is that? What film or musical is that from? Is it from The King and I? Whenever I feel afraid. Da, 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 da. I'll whistle a happy tune. 
Just in a happy jeep. Sure, no one will suspect. I'm afraid. King and I. Yeah, thought it was. Things that pop into my head randomly, since I'm totally isolated from life. It, it really does make me realise why I'm totally isolated on my own. <laughs> okay, right. I think that, I'm leaving a, a white gap around there. And... Uh, Yeah, I'll try not to make it uniform. Ah, oh, yes. I can remember having to sing that when I was in primary school. I can't remember what other songs we sang from there, and I can't remember why we sang it, but my headmaster, he loved a bit of Amdram. We ended up doing Oliver about five times through the whole of my primary school period because he loved to play Fagin. So you can smudge with your finger, which will give you more of a texture, or you can use a paper stump or a cotton bud. I'm going to use my finger today as we look through the round window. Sorry if the camera is going to shake a little because, um, well, I'm moving it really. I want to make sure it's slightly darker around the bucket. If your hands are slightly sweaty or greasy, it works really well to move the graphite. But don't wet them on purpose. Don't lick your fingers, because that's never good. You see, I weirdly, I, I, I've sung a few Annie Get Your Gun songs because of Howard Keel. Um, however, it wasn't until fairly recently, only a year or two ago, that I actually um, watched Annie Get Your Gun all the way through. Howard Keel's got an amazing voice. Had an amazing voice. I did like him as Wild Billy Cock in, in Calamity Jane and, and Adam as Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Um, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, I think. It was brilliant. Bless your beautiful hide. You see, anything you can do, I can do better. There's also a similar one, isn't there, in Calamity Jane, where it's like, um, where he says, uh, sort of, with, with Doris, uh, with Calamity, sort of... Um, what is it? In the autumn, you're the winter. In the bullseye, you're the splinter. In the theatre, you're the boo. I could do without you. So, um, yeah. Gosh, the things we talk about in these classes, they're always useful for, for quizzes. I think, if ever you're gonna go on a quiz. Because, no. That is true. So hopefully you can see now that my little paper pump, my paper, my paper, oh, what's this? Water pump. My little water pump is um, is standing more out from the uh, from the paper now. We've we've darkened it. I, I I hope you were quoting a song, Sue, and not just bragging. By the way. Well, what what you can do. Is, I've, I've got my dirty paper stump. How dirty is your stump, <laughs> Rosemary? Not very. Okay, because I might use it and I can just give sort of an indication of branches look, as I smudge and press down a little bit harder. 
Well, I don't know, so I'm sure there are plenty of things that you can do better than me. It's getting darker and darker. But I have to keep them fairly all the time, you know, just in case. Oh, you better charcoal, you better perfect. The only trouble is with this is that it's sort of getting flatter and flatter and less pointy. I'm going to have to sharpen it at some point. There you go, that's given me a rough idea. So I've drawn without drawing the idea of the trees. I think I'm going to do some 50s songs some um, on Sunday, um, but a bit later than normal because I'm doing a live through the Love of the Vintage uh, Facebook page. Uh, so it'd be sort of like some Pat Boone and Matt Munro and Dickie Valentine and a bit of Elvis maybe. I've got to double check because I did say I'd do it, but I haven't confirmed, so I don't know. Okay, let's get in there. I'm going to use my paper stump just to lightly tint my bucket. The light's kind of from above, isn't it, in this? Or that's shadow there, though, isn't it? I'm going to cheat a little bit and make the side of the bucket's a little bit darker. Yeah. But it looks like the light is coming from above, so the bucket's all in one, um, one uh, tone. redraw the shape any of you been watching Grace and Perry's art club I've still I've yet to catch up on that well BBC two I think or is it a BBC one I can't remember but it looks really really good from what little bits I've seen, I've set the recorder, but because I'm teaching quite a few evenings um, and there are two weeks in the month where, I've, where I'm almost teaching every night, so um, I'm not seeing stuff. But it's good, it's good that I'm busy. Absolutely, I have no time for boredom. Yeah, I'm just using it and I'm just a little bit harder with my pressure. Mm I do enjoy working in pencil. I, I never used to. I spent a lot of time hating pencil. But then um, I started teaching drawing classes a long, long time ago. And I kind of started falling in love with it. I didn't realise, though, until I, stu I, I, I stumbled upon my A-level artwork that I nearly only exclusively worked in pencil charcoal or pastel. Can't even remember doing that. Can't remember at all. So I must have had an affinity for it then unless it was the only thing available at college. It's more, more than likely the answer. Right, so I've just defined him a little bit more. 
Oh yeah, actually, look, the, the light, I've just worked it out. The light is coming from this angle here. Because the, if you look at the heat, uh, the, I've zoomed in on the, on the thing, so you'll see it in about 20 seconds. Um, those on Discord, and those of you that are listening with the delay, you'll see it now. The handle shadow is there. So the light is coming from that angle, so the, the spout shadow will be inside the bucket, and that's why there's a shadow on the ground behind the pump because the pump the light the light is coming from that way quite a high light like that so the the left hand side is going to be darker and anything that's overlapping the underside is going to be even darker so the tops of these um, lines will be uh, much paler to highlight so how is it looking now are you fairly happy with it do you hate it so it must be not too bad. are you hoping that it will improve even more once the tone on the uh, the pump is in place good hey Nick this is like a hat trick yeah. isn't it okay coming up to just turn 25 past three so we've got plenty of time I know except for you Liz because you've got to go at four o'clock to um, do your zooming I, th I think it is tricky. Maybe you'll be better with a, a graphite stick or something. Maybe. I don't know. But it is hard to get more of a subtle blend or a, a, a background blend in. I do. I do. I do appreciate that. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I'll try and think of a a way you can do backgrounds, Liz. Next week with the sheep in the gateway. Oh, and then we've got the fine lady statue coming up as well. So we'll be doing lots of out of focus backgrounds in the next two weeks. So that's good practice. OK, I'll get my thinking cap on, Liz. OK, so I'm going to switch up to the next grade, which is probably going to be a 3B or a 4B. What are you using to smudge, Liz? Finger or paper stump or what? Right, so next one is going to be like a 3B or a 4B. Right, have you got any old chamois knocking about in the shed or the garage or somewhere, Liz? Like a, an old chamois cloth? What? So I'm using this 3B to mark out the dark areas of where the shadow is. Shadows are... Shadows are not is because there's more of more than one. I will possibly use my battery eraser, of which, if you want to order any, they will be available on the Shop Abbey site from once uh, once these boxes have gone to 
the shop. Okay. Oh, any anything, um, anything fabricy that you can press down with, you know, put your finger on and and smudge, because it's all to do with the pressure really, um, that will help get rid of the the lines. So I'm going to make this side a little bit darker. Where the curve is, the curve will also get darker as a curve so you want to follow the contours really I will be doing a bit of spreading and stuff but I, I, I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing well just in case any of you have to go because I know Liz you are having to go soon. An old sock, yeah, that'd work. I think it was rude. It, it, it sounded rude initially. I'd never say words like that live. I'm very good at thinking then. So I can't wait to see um good cotton wool's working good 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 can't wait to see what you've been creating today ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. and then I'm going to use my smudgy stick or finger to um, blend. Oh, he's lost his face now. And I'll probably use either a putty eraser or um, battery eraser to pick out some of the lighter things on here which is mainly the, the sections that we drew right at the beginning. The top of each one is going to be much, much lighter, but like a thin line. I need to make sure I draw that shadow of the, uh, of the handle. Find some of that shadow again. See, once you've blended, you can use the same pencil over the top, and it will um, it'll, it'll look darker. Because obviously when you blend, you're um, taking some of that initial line or that graphite off 
and uh, transferring it. Therefore making it a little bit paler. See, in, in, I, I, in my head, this um, handle and pump reminds me a bit of the Guinness logo. Mm, just a yeah, you know, with the harp. See if I can lift off a few of the the lighter bits just by tapping with the putty rubber. We were talking about this last night that with the putty rubber you can literally manipulate little thin edges and dab. Um, you can use blue tack as well because one of our uh, students last night didn't have any. Uh, I didn't have a putty rubber. They just had a hard rubber and um, blue tack will give a similar alternative as emergency. So yeah, just tapping or dabbing makes a big, big, big difference. a little bit bigger now because I've just slipped with my line Was who was that sigh then? It wasn't me, was it? Was it me? Oh. Uh. <laughs> No, although my, my laptop stream has stopped, but my live stream hasn't. Um, let me get the music back on again. That's what I'm trying to, 
I'm trying to re restart it. Yeah, my play button's appeared on mine, but... Uh, yeah. But I've got to go back into it. I know it's so soft, isn't it? That the the those those pencils they're really lovely to work with. I need to make sure we've got more in. I've just ordered loads of um, Derwent pencils, loose, um, ready. Because obviously, I have to plan now to have an online shop and a physical shop. So just having one item won't really help because I can't really sell it online and in real life at the same time. Right. So the um, Concrete base. I am going to use maybe the maybe the three B on its side. I want it a little bit darker than the background, but not overly dark because don't forget the light is still coming from the right. Um, and if you make something too dark, it's harder to make it darker. Um, you then have to really switch up. So this is just the. A three or a four B on its own. I want to keep the, the texture of my paper coming through. And I'm going to press down a bit harder. And technically there should be a bit, there is, there is a bit of dark indicating where the bucket is shaded. Let's do it there. Which helps us with our light source. And you can add cracks and all manner of things and then I'm going to go darker on the rim far right hand side gradually take the pressure off and much darker underneath and then take the pressure off so it's all varying pressures but because this is man-made you are going to have hard edges so you will need to readdress that Because once you start shading, it's very easy to lose the edge. So I'm not going to smudge this as much. I'm just going to... Keep it textured because then we've got lots of different textures, haven't we? We've got the, the pump texture, the uh, the bucket texture, the background, and then the concrete. And uh, I will be adding more lights and things to this, I think, in a little while. I, but I, I I will say this every week. I'm so impressed with the things that you're posting. Not just in this class, in, in, in all of the classes, that the standard is just phenomenal. It really is. So well done. And yes, I would like you to carry on. And keep me in baked beans.
Okay, Nick, so how dirty is, the, how dirty is your hand now? Mine's starting to get a bit filthy. Well, it was sort of a cleaner picture, though, wasn't it, last night? Because there wasn't lots of tone going on in the background, I suppose. I'm going to switch up. I know. Yes, yeah, Sarah, when you watch this later, um, you'll have to let us know how how your hands fared today. Yeah, I mean, I, I should really advocate that, putting a piece of paper on to lean on. It's much, much better. I've just switched up to a, to a, the next grade for me, which is a 6 or 7B. And, um... Yeah. So it's nearly time for you to go, Mrs. Riley, isn't it? Well, that's sad. But you can see now it's all starting to build up how how it's um, feeling a bit more solid. I'm just putting a little dab of the uh, putty rubber where the rivets are just so I can make them feel a bit more three-dimensional. Friday, what are we painting? That's a good question. Friday is doo, 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 doo. oh it's the black cat if you remember on white paper we're not doing it in gouache we're just going to do it in paper um so that'd be really nice saturday is a calligraphy class and sunday is a watercolor class as well um so it's a busy week and tomorrow night i've got the um it's the second thursday of the month so i've got my uh, worry free watercolors which is a bluebell wood it's all going on I've got to put foliage and stuff down here, which I'm going to do quite dark with a 7 or 8B or something like that. Light in the background a little. See, what I love about a putty rubber is the fact that I can pinch it. And um, so if I want to make something like that handle, I want to keep dark. I need to make the background a little bit lighter around it. So subtlety is the is the kind of crucial part of of this, which is quite it's quite hard with with tone and 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 what have you. But I'm always squinting and trying to refer to the initial photograph just to make sure I'm getting the light spots in the right bit. So I want to lighten. my handle and I'm gonna to have to really make sure I've got a sharper pencil 
I might even have to go sharpen my pencil very quickly so I can get a nice edge. Because the, the thing, as you get with softer, you know, as you get with a darker grade of pencil or the higher the number, um, a sharp point is fine, but it doesn't last very long. It, it fills in again very quickly and blunts. So um, I'm just going to quickly sharpen the pencil. I'll be back in a sec. But what I then find is you've got to get really accurate back to where you once were. So your lines don't have like two or three lines of them, which is tricky. But that's why I think it's nice to paint with you. So you, we can talk through it all, can't we? And you can say, well, how about this? And what about that? Oh, I should have had something. I might have to have some toast in a minute. Well, not in a minute, obviously, after class. I'm not just going to nip and make some toast. That'd be funny. I had a physics teacher like that. He'd come in late and then have a shave out the back. You'd hear the electric razor going. Because he lived in a caravan. Long story. Well, my physics teacher sometimes he'd just come in and he'd go um I've, I, I hope your talk goes well Liz I hope it's lovely and I hope it doesn't conflict with what I've already told you enjoy um yeah we used to just come in and go right do you want a story about physics or do you want a story about fishing so we'd have a story about fishing instead and we never learned anything and one time he just um walked in late flicked the light switches on and off about 20 times and went now that's physics and then I can't remember what else we did that day. B bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Um, needless, <laughs> needless to say, most of our year group with that teacher didn't do well in physics. Yet we had a chemistry teacher who'd been teaching for forever and he knew almost identically what would be on the papers because, it, you know, there's only so much. So he, he kind of taught us by rote which is a very different way of teaching compared to physics, but we all did may much, much better in our chemistry. Ooh, this is looking all right, you know, isn't it? Uh it should be quite amusing. Hmm. Tic Right, so, there are two things I'm going to do. One is what I've said, is I'm going to use this 6, 7B, or it's a 5B, this is, um, just with pencil on its side to just indicate 
some loose scribble foliage. Quite jagged. How's it going, Sue? I'll bring something off. Yes, that's you, Sue. Sorry, I should have. Um, I've got a lot. See, I've got a lot of Sues. I've got a lot of Anns. I'm going to have to all give you code names. <laughs> That'll be fun. See, it just adds that extra bit of depth. I might even sort of put in a slightly, um, oh, chucking everything, a bit behind. So it feels like there's stuff going on around this whole area. I know, I'll have to be careful, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't give you nasty nicknames. Usually it's by location. Right, so the one thing I want to do, I'm just going to do it, and you don't have to do it, but I want to do it, <laughs> and what that is, is I'm going to do a little bit of a water droplet. I'll um, zoom in on this in a bit so you can see how rubbish it is. So don't get too, uh, don't get too jealous, Rosemary. Just adds a little bit of something, doesn't it? A bit of movement to the, uh, to the picture. Well, I'm, I'm going to hold this up closer so you can, um, saves me having to zoom in, you can see. Because I know the camera will adjust and I'll slightly move it up. So you can get the idea of how things look. Oh, let me go back to the water droplet. There you go. I oh, know I'm putting it back again. Right, 
So it's literally a, a, a white space with a dark line behind it. Rub it out. So I'll be very, very interested, as I always am. I love to see what you post. Um, I don't always get chance to comment on them because weirdly I don't get the notifications um, straight away. So it's not until I go back on the page that I'll see what you've uh, what you've done. But I do love to see it. I really do. And the, as I say, the standard of work. Is, is amazing. Good. That's the thing, isn't it? Is is when do you stop? That's fine. So I'm just again doing my little squint so I can see which bits are paler and which is darker just so I can um, show them off a little bit more. Hello, Sarah. You're just in time to see me finish. We were just um, comparing dirty hands, how, how filthy our hands have got because of the picture. So uh, feel free to, to share yours again like you did last night when you, when you get around to doing it. I need to shade that there. That's better. I hadn't put that curved bit of shadow in for the nozzle. That's better. So I've had a lovely time today. Thank you so much for your company. It's always a pleasure to have you in my dining room with me. Um, so some of you I might see tomorrow morning for the portrait in charcoal. I might see you tomorrow afternoon for the uh, watercolour poppies. I might see you Friday afternoon for the black cat. Or I might see you Saturday morning for the calligraphy. Or Sunday morning for the uh, wood duck swimming. So uh, it's lots of variations in medium and theme coming up this week. And if not, next Wednesday is, I've already forgotten, Sheep in a Gateway. Um, so that's like a dry stone wall with some sheep clustered in, um, having a good old uh, warm up against each other. So thank you so much and uh, take care. And I will see you all soon. Please post your uh, post your images in wherever it is you've grown accustomed to sticking them, and I will look over them um, intently and with pleasure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excellent. So thank you very much. Take care, and I'll see you soon. You, bye. 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 Bye.